That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Mm -hmm. Supi. Ich weiß, wir müssen natürlich nach oben. Ich guck aber natürlich erst mal, was wir so tolles haben. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Mugume. Ich hab's besser Flasche. Bärenfett. Das ist überlegt und noch was. Mein Gott, hier gibt's aber eine Menge. Wo ist denn der? Das Blut. Don't spill it. Hier ist offensichtlich hoch zum Dachboden. Okay. Verkur dich nur nicht. Der Fackel in der Hand und so. Oh ja. Hallo. Was nur die Wait, the next room is blocked. Ich würde sagen, nicht mehr lange. Ach so. War ja so. Na, wo ein Bierchen? Oh, hier gibt's aber viel Bier. Was hier hier? So, was dich denn hier aufnehmen? Zeichnung eines Kinderbettes. Untersuche das Bild. Und der Questgegenstände vielleicht? Da gab es irgendwie so einen extra Punkt, oder? Questgegenstände. Papier, auf das hastig ein Kinderbett gemalt wurde, anscheinend von einem Kind. Okay. Nimm die Puppe. Machen wir gleich. Inversaft. Wasserflasche? So, ist hier eine Puppe? Ja. Eine Lumpen. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. Das werden wir gleich ausprobieren. Okay, sowas dachte ich mir jetzt schon. Gerade auch so viel Zeit dazu haben. Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it! <lacht> Gerard ist wirklich großartig, oder? Er läuft da mit der Le mit de äh, die Leiter runter mit der Fackel in der Hand und kommt unten an und packt die Fackel weg. <lacht> Ganz ehrlich. Nee. Hier, genau. Ah, finde heraus, warum die Tür zugefallen ist. Und Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy, a riddle. <laughs> okay. Guess I should find an oven. Okay. So, das kriegen wir Hinweise. Also es scheint nicht allzu dolle bösgesund zu sein. Also oben auf dem Dachboden war keiner. Aber wir waffen mit unserer Fackel hier. Machen wir uns mal auf den Weg und suchen mal. Da war noch so ein, so ein Decke, da waren wir auch noch nicht drin. Hier geht's ansonsten auch noch wieder raus. Also muss es ja fast da sein. Schauen wir einfach mal. Weiter. So, es läuft ja wieder runter mit der Fackel in der Hand. Und... <lacht> Gerald, echt. Ja, hier ist ein Ofen. Tatsache. Untersuchen. 
Oh, pack da nicht mal die Fackel weg. Sieht doch kein Mensch was. Boo! Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. A big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very mm -hmm. funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. <sighs> The way you play, well, it's only ever fun for you. That's because you're a dullard. All you humans are dullards. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted <laughs> house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> The house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to. I don't. I won't! <lacht> äh, ja, wir hatten ja schon Bekanntschaft äh, äh, mit äh, seiner kleinen Gestalt. Ähm. Schmeißen, wir, schmeißen wir sie raus, Little Sarah? Ich weiß ja nicht. Eigentlich will ich ja nicht so wirklich. Die sind irgendwie so niedlich. Sarah, Novograd's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that, and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Ah, ja, kann ich ja irgendwie... Und da das arme kleine Ding nicht rauskommt. Allerdings wäre es auch interessant gewesen, ob man sie vielleicht hätte zu unserem Freund Johnny schicken können. Der ja in den Sümpfen lebt, wo es auch nicht viel schöner ist. Jetzt hat er wieder die, die Fackel weggepackt. Pack raus hier. Äh, wo es natürlich eigentlich auch nicht viel schöner ist, aber vielleicht für so einen Godling ein bisschen besser. Hi. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. 
After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Hier wäre auch ein Bett gewesen. Ah, Triff Corinne im goldenen Stör. Gerald, Fackel. Dankeschön. Na gut, dann... <lacht> Wie, du machst die Fackel aus Wehe. Jetzt müssen wir den armen Bankier da draußen noch anlügen. Aber da er eh so schön geprallt hat, na, dann hat er auch genug Geld. Das ist zwar ein bisschen fies, aber. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Aber wir hätten jetzt noch die Möglichkeit, das Ding zu verraten. Ich will interessieren, was, was er denn, was er ihm jetzt sagt. Ich weiß doch, was da spukt. Traue ich mich? <lacht> Aber vielleicht bringt er sonst den kleinen Gottling um. Das will doch keiner. Nee. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Okay. Kann ich denn düster hier in der Nacht? Entschuldigung! Ah. Kommt nicht wieder vor oder vielleicht doch? Ich sehe nichts. Watch it, Tram. No regrets, not your stomping. Played at horse den. Stop going there after I saw me dirty feet. Hm. Hm, neues Anschlagbrett. Yippie, yay. Yeah, yeah. Child to Skilliger. Are you right? Non human, are you? Look for your kind beyond the walls. I believe I see a I'll challenger who good. seeks to subdue Pile Driver. Ah, hier kann man sich prügeln. Wir, haben, wir sind auch nicht mal in Wieland äh, fertig mit der Prügelei. Ich äh, drücke mich ein wenig davor. Wo ist denn denn hier die Treppen, Jungs und Mädels? Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? Ha, I've seen better. So, Corinne. Hi. <lacht> Ja, auch gesund. Schatz. Ähm. Ja, hi. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Träumen, was ist das genau? Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. 
My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Ah, on, oh my nickerchen, huh? Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Ich erinnere mich, als wir das erste Mal begegnet sind. Ich erinnere mich. Ich habe sie in Kermain ausgebildet. Ich habe ja mal das Leben gerettet. Sie war dabei, als ich gestorben bin. Hm. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. Als wir das erste Mal begegnet sind, bin ich aber gespannt. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Äh, wir machen mal ja. Yes. No need to rush. Jetzt erzählt er so ein bisschen time. die Geschichte von, äh, von Siri. Ähm. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Siri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Yeah. I have more to say. Then please do. I feel like I'm going to get a little bit away because I'm going to get a little bit of a spoiler. I'm going to get a little bit of a spoiler. I'm going to get a little bit of a spoiler. And that's not the story that's in the books. But that's not the story that's in the books. But that's not the story that's in the books. But that's not the story that's in the still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. It was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. 
A descendant of Bloody Volker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. Sie wurde der Herrin. Sie wurde die Herrin der Zeiten und Welten genannt. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Machen wir das letzte noch, oder? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Äh, da wir Jennifer und Trista schon gefunden haben, eher nicht so, ne? Vielleicht aber Rittersporn. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. Mm -hmm. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. So. Yeah, this <laughs> Ritter schworn natürlich. <lacht> das schon hat ein Modell ge gehabt. Das ist irgendwie sehr treffend, entschuldigt. Ähm ja, ich würde sagen, ähm, 
Ich mache hier jetzt aber trotzdem eine Aufnahmepause kurz, weil ich muss nämlich nochmal weg. Und ähm, ich danke euch auf jeden Fall fürs Zuschauen und wir sehen uns dann in der nächsten Folge ähm, wieder, wenn wir dann offensichtlich meinen Bordell besuchen gehen, um dort Rittersporn zu finden. Ich danke euch. Bis dann. Tschüss.